And over a year I've owned the 4066, I have not done a demo of the auto hitch, or I don't remember doing one. And now that I just got done uh, making or starting a video for doing some quick hitch stuff or iMatch stuff, I figured, uh, and currently the box blade is unhooked from the tractor, I figured this might be a good opportunity to use auto hitch uh, to show you how easy it is to use and how nice it is. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna take, and uh, I'll take you into the cab and show you how to set it up, and then I'll come out and I'll just set the camera up and I'll uh, show you how to back the tractor up. Pretty simple procedure, all right? So from right now, we'll get into the tractor. Hopefully this isn't too painful. Okay, once the tractor's running, this switch over here on the dash, you press it. So it tells you everything you need to do. Pull the parking brake up. You shift to A range. Once you've shifted to A range, the flashes will come on and you get up off the seat. And it'll say pitch on. Now, let me get out of here without falling. You can come to the back. You press this down button, and we're gonna come backwards. And you can come backwards, but we're aiming, hook up the top right there. Now what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead, use this control right here. To lift it up. And there we go, that is how you hook it up. And now what I'm gonna do is drop the two levers on the quick hitch with the iMatch. And it is good to go, we're hooked up and uh, ready to start. Uh, next time we sit down in the seat, the flashers will go off, we'll turn the hitch off, or the hitch will turn itself off. So we'll go like this. We'll get back in here, and we'll sit down in the seat, and the hitch will go off, and you can turn the switch off. Just like that, pretty easy stuff. Um, and really nice, a really, really nice feature of this unit. Uh, certainly very handy to have.